Hey everybody, Jeanetta Barry here. Thank you so much for joining us today. The name of today's training is The Ultimate Write, Publish, and Promote Your Story Strategy. And we're going to talk about an innovative strategy we've developed specifically for the consciousness market to help you get your name and message out there in front of eyeballs internationally. And joining me today is someone very special. Lorraine Garnett is our Hollywood screenwriting maven, and together we're going to show you a key component of our exclusive program for bringing international attention to hand-picked groups of speakers, authors, life coaches, and other personal development professionals. But first, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Jeanetta Barry. I'm a best-selling author, life coach, life coach trainer, speaker, and vice president at Thank God I. I've counseled clients worldwide, ranging from celebrities and CEOs to troubled and even suicidal teens, and survivors of the 2013 Nairobi shopping mall terrorist attack. Now, let's start today's training with a question. How many of you have heard, read, or somehow just formed the impression that if you want to bring in more clients, customers, patients, or audiences, you need to write a book? Yes, we all have. And have any of us ever had that secret fantasy, even if for just a nanosecond, that all I have to do is write and get published and then, poof, by some magic, I'll be a celebrity? Well, I'll raise my hand to that one. I had that fantasy once, and I wasted a lot of time, money, and effort. At least it seemed that way at the time. When I set out to write my first book, I already knew from friends who were established authors that publishing through a reputable publishing house came with its challenges. If, for example, you're awarded a writing advance, then once the book is published, you can spend years paying the advance back before you see any earnings. That's assuming there are any. But I wasn't writing just for the money. I'd lived through a life-altering experience that I needed to share. I needed to get my story out there. I also needed to bring in new clients for my life coaching business. This book, I told myself, is going to establish me as a thought leader and authority in my field. Exposure was my first priority. I was ready to go to the established publisher route when the publishing industry fell into turmoil. Hit hard by the internet. Publishers now expected authors to do their own advertising and marketing, even down to the planning. And the more prestigious the publishers, the less they would do for their authors. So like a lot of other new writers, I went the alternative route. I chose self-publishing. Of course, I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I knew I was a fighter. I'd survived cancer, the suicide of my daughter, a divorce, losing my home. So I was ready to take on the world. Plus, I had a special advantage, or so I thought at the time. You know how the universe sends us resources? Well, a friend of mine put me in touch with someone who held some impressive clout in the media. And when I told her my story, she told me I could use her as a recommendation. And she handed me her super private list of media VIPs. Well, almost every VIP I contacted spoke to me with great enthusiasm. I even managed to line up some interviews in magazines and radio. I felt so lucky. It felt almost like I was cheating. But then everything fell apart as quickly as it had come together. What happened was that as each VIP learned I had self-published, they quickly lost interest. Finally, one of them told me, We've been absolutely flooded with substandard, unprofessional, and often embarrassingly bad self-published works. So when we hear self-published, it's almost a dirty word. Although at first this was a rude and painful awakening, it opened my eyes to an important new insight, which served me well in my next venture. What happened next was another chance meeting. I was approached by a social media site by entrepreneur and speaker John Castagnini. John had been a business consultant to many successful life coaches. He'd also shared the stage with such luminaries as Drs. Wayne Dyer and John Martini, and he'd been highlighted along with Mariam Williamson and His Holiness the Dalai Lama in the feature documentary Discover the Gift. John was also CEO of an online and offline publishing company with the curious name of Thank God I. If I tell you that this meeting was a godsend, I'd be doing it an injustice. 
You see, John had been laying the groundwork for Thank God I as a recognized brand in publishing and media. Thank God I had already published a number one bestseller on Amazon. Plus, they had an impressive list of celebrity endorsers and authors. But what made this meeting especially powerful is that John was an innovator, a real outside-the-box thinker. And I was at a point where I was ready for innovation. See, when I decided to self-publish, I was buying into a strategy that had been pioneered and was already mainstream. Lots of people were self-publishing by then. In other words, I missed the boat. I came too late, but the lesson I learned was the importance of getting in on the ground floor. When it comes to marketing on the internet, you've got to get in on something when it's new. And what, thank God, I had to offer and is still offering right now is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And to help me share with you how to get in on this amazing experience, here's our Emmy-nominated Hollywood writer, Lorraine Garnett. Thank you, Janetta. I am so excited to be here and part of this wonderful project. And Lorraine, you're going to let our viewers in on a few writing secrets. That's right. But before you do, I want everyone here to know that if you are accepted as a Thank God I author, which means being published and publicized together with international thought leaders, New York Times bestselling authors and other celebrities, what Lorraine's going to teach you will be critically important. Okay. Now, when you signed up for this webinar, you were sent a handout with three questions. Yes, we sent it right on the first uh, video. Okay. I hope you have it in front of you, although if you don't, I will read the questions out to you. And the first question is, does your story read like a movie? Does it create a movie in the mind of the reader? Now, remember, Janetta, when you participated in the package and you found out that it included one-on-one -on -one mentoring with a Hollywood-trained writer, tell us your reaction. Yeah, I was inspired because I just knew that the writing experience can be a very lonely, daunting experience. We have such a deep inner critic inside us. We go about going, I know I can write, but the moment we start putting fingers to keyboard or pen to paper, that little voice goes, well, is it good enough? What if I can't? Oh, I've got writer's block. And of course, we go into that space where mowing the lawn suddenly feels far more attractive than, <laughs> and you hate mowing the lawn. So for me, it was like, oh, this is the mentorship I was looking for, somebody who knows their craft and could really get the best out of me because nothing can be portrayed more amazingly than a Hollywood script. So a Hollywood writer to get my story out there in the same fashion, I was very inspired. And yet, as we both know, you were already quite an accomplished writer. You, I believe you won an award for a short story you wrote. I was a runner-up, yes. Yeah, runner-up. Runner-up. So, and you taught high school grammar. Yes, and also, of course, I grew up with a writing background. My dad was an established writer for uh, newspapers. Yes. And, and was a, both my parents were theater and cinema critics. So I was surrounded by wordsmiths. <laughs> And that, that still doesn't get over the part of you that knows that anything that's worth doing needs a coach. It needs, yeah, uh, it needs somebody to guide you and inspire you so that you get really focused and certain and mm. clear about your story and it gets really crafted brilliantly. Exactly. Especially when you're writing about yourself, there are things you are just not going to see. And you need another pair of eyes and somebody who's trained and, and experienced in looking at events, story events, details, and knowing what to include, what not to include, where to start, what to emphasize. Because a lot of screenwriting really has nothing to do with words. People uh, I work with think I'm going to be working with them on just grammar. And that's not it at all. It's about a lot more than the words. It's about the events, 
behind the words. It's true. And then if we take it one step further, because the process that I work with so successfully internationally with, when you're dealing with a story of adversity or, or challenge, if you've been challenged and now you know that your story is going to inspire a lot of people out there, so often when we talk about that story, we still have unspoken blocks about it that make us almost tell it from a place of guilt or shame or there's still that edge there of not being quite on top of the story. And that's what I found helped me. I mean, after all, I was, I was having to write a really, really difficult story. I have to tell you, I was getting up and having to do yoga and touch my toes and breathe and walk around the block because I knew I was going to start talking about the day my daughter hanged herself, broke her neck after she and I had had an enormous argument. So to get that out there meaningfully to the world without some form of charge there, oh. it's really, really <laughs> difficult. And I, I already had this process on top of it all. Thank goodness I had it because it enabled me to bring myself back to centered presence and talk from my heart when I was writing rather from the place of what is everybody going to think of me by telling the story. So whenever I could feel those charges coming through, I was able to do this. And that's the secret of, of a Thank God I story. Now, you made a very good point a moment ago about writing in a way that's going to inspire people and change people. Now, what really changes people? Is it being told? Is it being given instructions? Or we change because of our emotional experiences. Yeah, this, this is the big thing that one sees so commonly in our industry, in the life coach speaking, writing industry, or the inspirational writing and presenting industry is that because we've been through something, we think the best way to inspire people is to tell them how to do it the way that we did it. Yeah. It feels like that's a good way to teach. And yet, when you start reading that, you know, nobody really likes to be told what to do. And it comes through so much more naturally and the more heartfelt message when you start sharing what happened and what you went through because people identify with you. And that brings us to the second question which is, does your story take the reader on an emotional journey? Does it put your reader smack in the middle of the highs and lows of your experience so the reader is left somehow changed by reading it? Exactly. That's exactly it. And that teaches them so much because they're going... Oh, this person's identifying I, what this person's been through. I so understand mm -hmm. what they've been through. That means they understand me and they can help me. Apart from this story, I would like to contact this person because they will really understand me and hear me and listen to me on a depth of understanding that everybody else doesn't understand. And that's very different from giving advice or writing a how to do it. You know, there's so many internet gurus out there that tell you all you have to do is write a how to do it yes. about something you know how to do, give instructions, and you can be a, an internet guru yourself. Yes. Well, well, that's all well and good if what you know how to do is home improvement or how to yes. mount your butterfly collection. Or a new cake recipe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But what you're teaching is an emotional lesson. Yes. And you can't give somebody step-by-step -step instructions uh, how I learned an emotional, uh, how I came to a new level yes. emotionally. Because it's not logical. No. Step-by-step step is logic. Yeah. Whereas one's life-changing experience is emotional. And the secret here is to actually bring the em emotion and logic together in telling your story. And you need to take them through the highs and lows. Yes. In other words, your life story does have to invoke a movie. 
Yeah, it, a picture which, of the mind. You ha- yeah, the mind. picture they, of the mind. Yes, yes. It, uh, somebody reading it has to be able to see a movie in their mind, an up close view of what you felt, what you thought, how you behaved during a significant life changing moment. Yeah, and let me tell you, it's really important when you're reaching out to people all over the world who've never met you, you really have to establish a deep personal connection. And by letting somebody see you in a life-changing moment. Vulnerable moment. Absolutely. It's like knowing you a whole lifetime. Yes. That's what I find people who contact me, they say, I feel I know you. They not only say they feel they know me, they feel they know Jennifer, my daughter who's died. They go, I feel as though I've always known you. I've known Jennifer. I've known, it's like I've personally met you. They do and know they you. Have. They do. Yes. It's, it's just yes. in a different form. Yes, they've read your words, yes. but those words, and it's not a very long story. It doesn't tell your whole life, yeah. but the whole, your whole lifetime, the essence of your life is in that story. And it's so personal. It's like how we identify with a movie character. And when we meet that actor, we forget, oh, (laughs) that's not them. Because they've so personally portrayed that Mm -hmm. that story and that character. And that's the beauty of this is we're not pretending. Yes. We're not acting. (laughs) No, this is real. (laughs) This is real. This is the real McCoy. And if there are, and if you think of how, and it's really done just by choosing the right events, knowing how much of the event to show, how much not to show, again, all these decisions you make before you you think of this. These, well, this is something that has been worked out in the Hollywood screenwriting community. It's, you're not going to learn it in any English class, at least none I've ever heard of. And you're not going to, I mean, maybe some amazing geniuses, but you're not going to know it by default. No. It's an acquired skill. I tell you, people watch movies all their lives and see these particular techniques all the and time. And don't realize it. And don't real, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you and I had a, I have to share this with you because it really gave me an aha moment this week. You and I were talking this week about the fact that we went to watch live jazz by some top, top artists here in yeah. New York yeah. at, at the Ashford and Simpsons bar and how when I'm watching a performance, whether it's a a musical performance or a theatrical performance, because I grew up in the theater, I come in with a certain type of critic within me that looks at it. And you look at it differently as a Hollywood script writer. So I was able to pick up in all of that going on there, that there was a, a certain circumstances that weren't all melding in that performance. Mm-hmm. And you're going, how do you know that? Yes. <laughs> I was so impressed that you knew that the Pianist wasn't quite keeping up with the singer. And, and that there and was she tension was, going yes. on in that whole band. Yes. And that's the thing. That's because that's an acquired skill I got in theatrical productions. And you were able to come to me and go, you know what, Janetta, what you've just written here, if you put this here and that there, and I go, how did you know that? <laughs> So, you know, there's this super impressive feeling when you know you've got somebody who knows the skills of their trade. What I find really so inspiring about working with real life stories, with Thank God I stories, is that I learned how to do this stuff on made up stuff. How to take some made up story and turn it into an edge of your seat thriller or a heartbreaker. But here, I have the real stuff exactly. of life. I can, and everybody who works in, who is a life coach or a healer, it, it comes out of your own school of life experiences. Yeah. And you have some amazing stories, yes, better than you, you anything do. I can make up. So I am just so happy to use my skills to help you shape the story. Yeah. So that it 
Yes, ev- every single one of us has an amazing story to tell that's uniquely ours. But in it being unique, it kind of identifies with the people who have uh, experienced similar. And to have have that mentorship makes all the difference, definitely. All right. Now let's get to question number three. Does the story have a surprise twist? Does it leave the reader with a big aha? Well, you know, when you watch a Hollywood movie, the end is almost always a big surprise. And if if you give away the ending to someone who hasn't seen it, you're considered a spoiler. Yes, yes. And yet, when you see a good movie and it has a surprise ending, and it does surprise you, at the same time, it just seems like, oh, my God, yes, that's right. Like, I knew it all along. It's, and yes. it's very much as in life. When you have a big major insight in your life, on the one hand, you're wowed by it and you're thrilled and you didn't see it coming, yet at the same time you get the sense that it was meant to be. It's like events that were happening around you that you thought were just chance circumstances suddenly reveal their deep meaning and that they're all there for a purpose. That's the way your story should end. Yes, absolutely. And you and I have had some amazing experiences working together with our Thank God I authors who are already published. I mean, in this latest book we recently published, Thank God I Went Through Hell, by way of example, we had one pretty well-known person who is Tony Robbins' CEO, CEO yes. of one of his companies. <laughs> and he came along and said, oh, I've got this amazing epiphany story and it won't need very much work because it'll blow you away. Well, and it was. It was, very, was, it it was, was a blow away. And one. it was extremely well written. And I well did, written. I didn't have to real. Yes. I didn't have to give him any trouble with yes. that. And yet it still needed... A twist he thought at the it end. had a twist. He thought, oh, what happened here was a twist. What that made it was like a, a spiritual testimony, which was interesting and kind of like, wow. Well, it was a twist. But of the good, twist was a, missing. A twist, well, there was the, a twist of good luck. Yes. But the real life lesson. Was missing. Yes. yes. Where, and, and a real white, wow, I would never have thought of that. And that is where equilibration comes in because... When we were able to help him use the formula to find that hidden twist with using the process I work with people all over the world with, and he first started with a little bit of resistance, mm-hmm. actually, going, you know, oh, I don't know, and, you know, and I've got a story, and it's a brilliant story, and why do I need to, and, you know, it's a very normal mm-hmm. resistance one has to start with. And when he finally sat himself down and decided that lawn mowing wasn't more attractive, he and he he put his mind to it, the twist came out eventually as he started answering these questions and you very skillfully helped him get it out of him as well. And he was there going, oh, my word, this is amazing. And he's got an amazing story in the book now. And the question I asked him and... I'm going to ask this question of every one of our viewers now, because I'm sure everyone listening has a story. And this is, think of something in your life that at the time was a great challenge, was horrible, was a living nightmare. And then looking back, what benefit did you get from it? How did it serve you? And that is a good question to ask yourself before you write or attempt to write any story. Because when you have something that happened to you, you lived through an experience, it was a trying, deeply emotional, painful experience, but eventually it turned out to be a blessing. That is the basis of many, 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 if not most, successful Hollywood movies. It is also the principle behind 
something you mentioned before. You mentioned a big word, equilibration, yes. and that is a the particular life coaching technique that, that we use. That yeah. you use. We use. Yes. And another reason I enjoy working with you is that your life coaching technique or our life coaching technique is so much in sync with a principle used in Hollywood. Yes. And is, that is quite literally a Hollywood secret. Yes. And you see, that's the thing with equilibration is because the reason why it's in align with that is that it's a universal, it's a universal application. It's not just a, a thing of hit and miss. Uh, you know, I'd been in this industry long before mm. I lost Jenny. Uh, I'd been in the motivational industry and then I went more the spiritual route mm -hmm. for a while. And then nine months after Jenny died, I came across this process and, and I really haven't looked back. And the reason being is that it is the missing really mm -hmm. in, in applying oneself. I, I, I use it daily my, on myself and uh, with my clients. And I'm not going around saying, let's try this with you and see if it works. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do that. When I work with my clients, it's like when I ask you these questions, it will work because it's a universal application. It's not a trial and hit and miss see if it will work because we're not quite sure mm -hmm. what will work. Mm -hmm. It is so accurate. And that is why it marries up with a Hollywood script writing technique because it's universal. Absolutely. And, well, you've used the technique with me, so <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can certainly vouch for it. Actually, and you should actually quickly just share with, with our listener viewers today how you got your Thank God I story out. I think they'd be intrigued with this. What happened? You were blocked. What went on? Well, my, my story is, thank God I was mugged, or thank God for the man who mugged, mugged. me. Yes, uh, many years ago I was mugged, but it turned out not to be such a bad experience. I ended up making friends with my, the mugger, yes. and he let me go. <laughs> And the, the writing experience you were able to do with us working together and working the process and your writing skills unblocked because you were blocked for a long well, time oh, of yes. writing this. I didn't, uh, I knew that the experience, I always wanted to write about it. And I, I knew something extremely profound took place, but I didn't quite know how to write about it because after about five minutes, when I, started relating to him as a person and it just happened by chance and he it was shocked to have someone he was mugging talking to him as a person <laughs> <laughs> and we started relating as two human beings so I knew by then that I was probably not in any danger and even if I was I was not I was just too in the moment to be scared so I didn't know how to write about it until you helped me see that in the long run, the experience in many ways changed my life yes. because of what I learned from it. And it was the, 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 <laughs> the series of questions we used that gave that hidden twist to you. And yeah. you were able to show that twist in a really unusual way. I mean, people who read your story say, wow, that, that's really insightful that something like that, that what was defining you before mm -hmm. the mugging, and it really was holding you back, Yes, was defining you, got unlocked in that time, and you didn't even know it had unlocked you till, how many years ago was that mugging? Oh, gosh, I don't even remember. 20, 30 years ago? <laughs> past life. <laughs> seems, <laughs> seems like a past life now. Well, however long it was, you had no idea that there had been a gift in that day that had changed and redefined your life. And it took these sets of questions yes. that we apply in the story writing for you to unlock it and write an amazing story. Yes. Thank you, Janetta. <laughs> Thank you. So you're watching this webinar and you've heard that sharing your personal story is one of, if not the most effective way to get yourself out there. 
So you're also aware that doing it on your own is hit and miss. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. And more than likely a total waste of time, money, and effort. And that's why we've created this strategy. So if you're someone who's really committed to making a difference on an international level, and you want to make sure that your story gets read by people around the world so that you can make a name for yourself, then you might be wondering how you can manage to implement all the tactics and strategies that we've been talking about just now more succinctly and more easily. Clearly, everyone knows that getting your powerful message and abilities out through your story and through the internet works. Just look at how many top people have become celebrities because of the internet. And that's why you're really smart to deploy these strategies in your business. So you might be wondering, how can I get started? What I just showed you is the exact system we've personally used to assist our established authors. And if you'd like me to help you implement everything we've gone over, I'd be delighted. And here's how we'll do it with you. We've created a whole strategy for you called the Thank God I Write, Publish, and Promote Your Story Package. And this package is specifically designed to help you to write a personal true story that jumps off the page, moves minds and hearts, and builds to that surprise twist we were just talking about like that Hollywood movie. So you also get your story featured in the critically acclaimed number one Amazon Thank God I book series, where your name will be listed together with New York Times best-selling authors and other international celebrities. And you'll get your story individually promoted on the net to reach your target audience to the people in your market who most need to read it. So naturally, if you take these next steps we've just shared with you, you'll see amazing shifts in your story writing techniques, as well as your ability to be seen and heard internationally. I mean, I'm living proof of it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen the difference it's made since I've written my Thank God I story and how I've got out there. And quite often... I'll contact people and they'll go, oh, I've heard about you. You're the person that <laughs> yeah. lost your daughter and you're thankful. I get that often. So it's amazing how, yes. how beneficial this is. So if you want guidance to skillfully write your personal story, and if you want to get your name out there internationally, and if you want your business to shift into a new level of energy and experience, and if you want to also experience the domino effect this has on your existing and new clients, then this program is specifically for you. And here's how we'll do it with you. The Thank God I Write, Publish and Promote Your Story package comprises four stages. Stage one, well, obviously, is writing your story. <laughs> Stage two is distributing your story on the net. Stage three is your story published in our book series and social media networked. Now, that's a big thing. It's getting it out there. Look how I battle to get out there. Mm -hmm. This is a very important thing. All authors will tell you, and publishing houses, and distributors will tell you, even the best-selling authors will tell you this. If you've got a story out there, and you're not out there daily telling everybody about your story and how amazing it is and what they'll get out of it and be seen all the time, it dies. It doesn't matter how good the story is. And that's the thing that inspired me with coming into Thank God I, because I knew my story was being distributed for me. I was being put out there day by day by day, my mm. face, my story my reputation, and it was being done for me. And that was a big thing for me because it's dauntingly alone without that. Unless you're a social media guru, guru <laughs> yeah. you're not going to know how to do that. And thank God I has a whole network of people. We've got a yeah. whole series of people working with us. It's inspiring to have these people yeah. with us. And they know their onions. Yeah. They know yeah. what they're doing. And they've known how to get my story out there, and then they're going to know how to get your story out there, and they'll know what market to target mm -hmm. for your story and get it out there daily so it's going viral on yeah. a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And unless you have that expertise on your own and the time, because the other thing is you're yeah. trying to be <laughs> yes. a presenter or a writer or a life coach or whatever it is you are, and you've got an asset time yes. learning the, the internet, social media techniques and doing it every day. 
And that really was a big thing for me. And then, of course, the other thing is your story gets published in our book series and social media networked. And we've just had, thank God I went through hell oh, on the... On, oh, oh, you've got it. You've got, got, yes, sure, we, yes. We you, must interrupt this broadcast. With guess us. where our stories showed up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely interrupt this broadcast for this one. <laughs> The book was presented at the Hamptons Authors' Night alongside... Which is a celebrity a book celebrity. signing party. Absolutely, in the Hamptons. And Alec Baldwin kind of spearheads it all. He was the host, I believe. Yes. And we had authors there like Gwyneth Paltrow, Dr. Ruth... I think Marion Williams. Cavett, Marian Williams and Dick Cavett. Christy Brinkley. Christy Brinkley. They've all had books presented at that night and, and, and ours all, and thank, and thank god i went through and hell. they were all there they were all there so we had this inspiring evening going on and then a and few days later we got contacted by one of our clients who said ah i've just bought us magazine and guess what's featured in us magazine is christy brinkley and Hilaria Baldwin, who's uh, yes. Alec Baldwin's very pregnant wife. Yes. And there's Thank God I Went Through Hell book between the two of them. And we went and bought a copy. <laughs> and here, ladies and gentlemen, ta da! <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> It's amazing. Um, we made the celebrity <laughs> magazine. <laughs> Underneath Hilaria Baldwin's pregnant, pregnant belly. belly. <laughs> and Christy Brinkley. <laughs> So, um, yeah, this is how it goes. And that's where your story is in that book, my story yes. is in that book. Um, in fact, we've got some quite a lot of celebrities. We've got Dr. John D. Martini in that book and Dr. Dr. Bernie Siegel. Siegel and New York Yankee Jim Leyritz. And, and we also have a lot of first-time authors. Yes. What we do is we package celebrities and new total newbies and various yes. – and. It, we yes. put them together in the same packages. Yes, and that's really wonderful because that new blood is mm. inspiring and uplifting. It really is a beautiful mix. So to get back to having said your story gets published in our book series and social media networked, stage four is an amazing stage because your audio interview will be placed on our site amongst celebrities. We've got a lot of celebrities interviewed on our website, some key celebrities. So to go through it again, stage one is going to give you six personal one-on-one -on -one story coaching sessions with one of our Hollywood trained script writers. So you can write your story with step-by-step -step guidance and backup. What a difference. It's also going to give you 24 sessions of recorded audio teachings presented by Lorraine and myself, so you can listen and mold your personal true story further by using these Hollywood insider secrets. Mm -hmm. And you'll be getting assistance in getting your bio brilliantly sculpted, so you can attract clients who can immediately feel they identify with you. Mm -hmm. Very important. In stage two, we're going to get your story individually promoted on the net to reach your target audience so that it gets to the people in your market who most need to read it. And you'll be invited to join us in our weekly Launching Your Story live online presentations, which will give you access to publishing and digital information marketing advice and business skills with the mavens of the publishing industry and also internet mavens and writing mavens. It's, it's going to really have an amazing it's, input by being present you, there. Yeah. It's about being inside information, understanding the inner workings yes. of and the, this And you're going to be able to attend that live online. And you get exposure to mavens like... Mitch Rousseau, he is a CEO of one of Anthony Robbins' companies, 
and John himself who will give a lot of information on how to set up your internet business in this industry and Bobby Burns house is really well versed in fact he he published our book he's our internet publisher and he's very well versed on how to get your book out there on the internet and does all the work with you and for you if you if you so wish so there's a lot of advice and we're going to have guests who will come in who will be very specifically able to help you with all the different areas to getting your story out there it's a really good back up to be a part mm-hmm. of and help you be in touch and tune with what's going on. Look at it this way. If you're going to be an internet celebrity, if that's your goal, you've got to start training for it. Yeah, for sure. So in stage three, we're going to get your story featured in the critically acclaimed number one Amazon Thank God I book series so that your story can be distributed worldwide and your name can be listed together with New York Times best-selling authors and other international celebrities. That brings huge clout. When I can go to people and say, this is who I am and who my story is associated with, you can see people being visibly impressed. It it really does open doors. And stage four, your 20-minute audio recording will initially be featured on our website so that you can be seen and heard by our thousands of visitors. You also get a copy of the recording to put on your website. Exactly, (laughs) exactly. And your audio interview will also be socially media networked via email, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And our Thank God I team comes across all kinds of topic-related media opportunities so that you can have your audio interview shared through the media through the many years to come. Now, you're getting the same system I personally use to get my story so successfully and powerfully out to the world. And by now, you're probably wondering about the price. So let's get real. Is your career, your dream, your vacation, your legacy worth investing a couple of thousand dollars? Even better, how would you like a chance at a scholarship? So that's why we're suggesting you take your first vital step by investing in writing your story overview by submitting your story via our website through the story submission form that you have here now. You'll be doing this for us to evaluate your writing style and story content so you can begin applying these strategies with a clear and focused outline of how and where to start. And in actual fact, for just $25, you can submit your story for evaluation by our Hollywood-trained team now. And when you download your application today, you'll receive, this is amazing, a series of 24 MP3s worth $297 on how to write a personal true story that jumps off the page, moves minds and hearts, and builds to that surprise twist like a Hollywood movie. So before you even started, you're starting by just submitting your $25 story application. But this bonus is only available for this webinar and for the next three days. So once your application has been received, our Thank God I story writing team will review your story overview, and then you'll be contacted for a personal free consultation with one of our Thank God I publishing experts. So, you know, Lorraine, I think we have just about covered it. I just feel so inspired. It makes me almost feel like I'd love to go back to go again and start that journey because it was so inspiring for me to get through my writer's block about my heartfelt story and then have all this happen. It's been such an amazing journey. So Lorraine and I are looking forward to personally meeting you, getting to know you, receiving your story application get it through to us. And then we're looking forward to chatting with you and taking you further. And thank you for being with us today. And thank you. And I look forward to making some real stories. Put Hollywood to shame. With Hollywood style. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, everybody. Great to have you with us. Look forward to meeting you. Lots of love from us both.